Hey, McDowan here. Today we are taking a look at the Shade Turret with Grunt Assault figure from Jazzwares Halo Infinite World of Halo Scale series. I found this at Target for $19.99 and it's another cool looking box. Anyway, let's take a look at the back of the box to see what's coming in Series 3. On the left we have the individual figures, in the middle we have the Hero and Villain 2 packs, and on the right we have the figure and vehicle sets. And for those who want to see the barcode, here it is. Alright, let's get this set out of the box. If you are new to the channel, welcome, and please subscribe so you'll be notified of future videos. This appears to be the Type 26 ASG model of the Shade. Making its debut in Halo 3, this anti-infantry gun turret is affiliated with the Covenant. Now I hate to be negative, but I'm going to be negative for just a moment. If you think getting this figure in this little spot is really easy, it's not. We'll discuss that and more uh, in just a moment. So let's dive in, take a look at the figure and the shade. Besides the shade, this figure comes with a plasma pistol. It looks like this. It's kind of neat, the different colors. There's even some small little paint detail in that area right there. It's kind of a cool little gun. This figure stands about three and three-fourths inches tall. Here he is next to a Marine, which is that height. It's mostly due to this tank that he's carrying on his back. And for kind of a comparison of several other Halo released figures, there he is next to him. The Grunt appears to be wearing the Imperial Harness, that's the red, the tank, and all that stuff, with a full face armor covering right there. It looks kind of neat. It's definitely different than the other Grunt, which we've received and I've got right here. So you can see the difference there. This one's only wearing a partial face covering. You can see the top of his head right there and definitely has a different tank style. Uh, beyond the the tank, the from about the neck down, it's exactly the exact <laughs> it's the exact same figure. Uh, what's interesting is you can now tell how this uh, tank portion has been attached and is a separate piece that's been glued or or fixed somehow to this, and that's where they changed and we can probably see some new different grunts in the future. And now that I tripped over all those words, we will get on to the rest of it. The figure has about 25 points of articulation or so. It's Some of these figures are a little bit difficult to count up what they are. But the head rotates back and forth like that. You can force it, but it's about as far as as far up as it goes. He can lean his head down and up like that. I, okay, so it depends on where you've got the, the neck leaning looking. Um, one thing I discovered when I reviewed the first grunt is a weak point that I see, and that is here in the elbows. So be careful when you're moving the elbows. It's probably one of the first things I should say, because when I went to uh, bend the elbow, it just broke right off. It's a, you know, this is a very big, large forearm, and this is a very small compared to the forearm, a very small joint there. It's very small. So just be careful with these elbows. Uh, rotate the shoulders around like that. If you want the, him to lift up his arms, he goes about that far. The elbows rotate, and carefully, they hinge a little bit. Just a little bit. Be careful there. The wrists rotate and have a small hinge as well. A small one. The torso and the waist are about the same articulation right there. So he, you can uh, rotate him around and he can bobble back and forth. Pretty good. His legs rotate all the way around. They are on a ball joint, as you can see. There's also a thigh cut in there so you can do a few little fancy things with the upper leg area double pin at the knee and that's as straight as his leg will go you can get him to bend that tight pretty good and his ankle rotates and has a hinge if you can call that an ankle I guess let's see here uh, you gotta be careful this guy is really top heavy so I can uh, can take the foot back that far if you can see what I'm doing and then I can put the foot that far forward so yeah you he's got some he's got some good articulation for the type of character he is 
when you try to stand him up, he is pretty back heavy, so you're going to need the arms forward just a little bit. You're going to have to uh, play around with how to get him to stand. But uh, you can do it. You can uh, fit this plasma pistol right here in his hand. Like that. So then he can carry the pistol around. Let's see if I can break him on camera. Like I've done a few other figures. Anyway, so there. He's got the plasma pistol right there. Okay, now we're done with the figure. Let's take a look at the shade, which is the main reason you all, most of you, are here. So here we have the shade. We're looking at it from the side. It's a pretty cool little playset. I would classify this more of a playset. The guns will rotate down that far and lift the shielding. The guns will rotate up that far and the base will spin around. Got to be careful, I bump my background like that. There are a place, let's rotate this up. Right here, there is a place for feet. This is kind of cool because you've got a lower peg and an upper peg. The upper peg will be for the grunt style of figures, and the lower peg will be probably for somebody like your Master Chief. I, as you saw earlier, I was able to get the grunt in, kind of. It's a very, this is a very difficult place to get the grunt into, and with a few fragile, what I consider fragile, to get him in is, you know, you can get him in easy. Here, see? This is how easy it is. But that's the easiest part right there. If you want him to actually peg he, peg in, you're going to have to rotate his ankles. Let's get him back out now. You're going to have to rotate his feet inward or rotate the legs or something so that the holes are facing in like that. Then you can get him in. And if you're lucky without a lot of effort, I'm not going to take a lot of time here, but I'm going to see if I can show you the problems that I am having. Like, he's still not attached. These things move really freely. And I had to work with it, with holding it between my legs so stuff wouldn't move. Anyway, that that's about as far as I'm going to go. You almost need to put him in here before these sides are attached in order to see and then he just falls out in order to get his hands to attach to the handlebars right here his you can't really pry open his fingers so i don't really know you're gonna have to really maneuver and wiggle i don't think let's see can you even take these off i don't know that these will pop back off not easily they, uh, yeah, I don't know. You might take these off, maybe, and then you could uh, have more area to work with putting him in there. But I found at least this grunt figure very, very difficult to put in this turret. So what if it's somebody, say, like Master Chief? Well, we're going to have to kind of guess at the angle, because I haven't tried this yet. So if you want him to peg on, if you want him to peg on, first you got to find the peg. There you go. And apparently it won't stay on. So if, you know what, you may just have to set the figures in here and, and go for it. Unfortunately, as cool as this, oh, there we go, that peg fit on pretty well. As cool as this is, I see some difficulties in using it. Okay, that foot's on, and then that foot came off. <laughs> okay, there we go. I think both feet are on. He may be a little bit too far. If you can see that, I think he's a little bit too far to grab onto the handlebars to aim. But there, Master Chief is in the shade. Kind of show him that way. And it's cool. I mean, don't get me wrong. This is really cool. If you're going to put this on a shelf, you could put any figure. You could just set any figure you want to right there, and it's going to look cool. It really is. It rotates quite nicely all the way around, as long as it's not hitting things. You can rotate the guns down. You can see him in there better. You can rotate them up. There's really not a lot to this. You're not going to get somebody like this guy in there. Well, actually, you know, I shouldn't say it. I didn't try it. I don't think you will. I don't think he'll be 
very easy to put in here. Uh, some of you know I'm still attempting to play through the games. Well, I mean, you could. Okay, you could if you really wanted to put this guy in there. Let's put his helmet back on. There we go. There. <laughs> you could, you could get the this guy in here. <laughs> Look at that. You could put any... You need to get a few of these then and put any guy in here you want to, to man this. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I mean, yeah, that's... I don't think he's supposed to be in there in the game, but yeah, that's kind of cool. There's a fly here. But anyway, yeah, the shade turret I think is pretty cool. I guess maybe we'll end end it with him sitting there. So overall, this could be considered, as I said, more of a playset than a vehicle since it doesn't move around. I mean, it doesn't have wheels to move around, but uh, this moves around. You could get several of these and create quite the small Covenant stronghold if you want. I think this is a neat addition to the World of Halo action figure line. I, I think this is really cool, really fun. Truthfully, I don't know if this really is going to, to work well with kids. These will be broken. These will be loose pieces, I, I'm predicting. So yeah, if you're a toy action figure collector, this is a great addition for your shelf. Get a couple of these, put them up there, put a few figures in them, and then just enjoy the visual beauty of a toy up on your shelf. And that's not a joke. Anyway, so now it's your turn. What do you think about this figure and this playset? Leave your thoughts in the comment section below. And on your way out, check out my big review of the Mantis in the lower left corner. Thank you for stopping by and watching. If you enjoyed, please like this video and share it everywhere. It really helps the channel. I will see you in the next video.